Hello everyone, this is Manor of Death. Sorry to have been gone for so long, but as you can tell, I am back again. Thank you for listening. This week's Manor of Death is undetermined. Also, I just wanted to start this video off with a small disclaimer that the website I used to source these cases from actually has some graphic images uh, for some of the unidentified does they had taken post-mortem photos in order to help better describe them and to identify them later on. So if that is something you would not like to see, I would advise you to not check out this website or if you do, to proceed with caution. Thank you. Buffalo Bayou John Doe, 1957. On July 8, 1957, an unidentified man was discovered in the 1200 block of Commerce, floating face down in Buffalo Bayou. It was initially thought the man could have been someone by the name of Nolan Pruitt, but his identity still remains unknown. He is described as a white male, approximately 5 foot 5 to 5 foot 7, and weighed 135 to 150 pounds. He had dark brown or black hair. John Doe was wearing khaki pants, a long-sleeved striped sports shirt with a pocket in the left upper chest, brown belt with a cowboy buckle, white socks, and a pair of size 9A dark brown shoes that fastened with a strap and buckle. Also found with him were two combs and dentures marked EJC-810-56. He was estimated to be between the ages of 25 to 40 years old. If you have any information that could help identify this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Greens Bayou John Doe on November 1, 1958, an unidentified male was found in a wooded area on Wallaceville Road, approximately one mile east of Greens Bayou. Unfortunately, because of the state of the remains, there is not a very good description of John Doe. It is estimated he was a black male between the ages of 30 to 50 and had a height of 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 6. John Doe had a gap between the medial teeth with one filling in a tooth in the upper jaw. Unfortunately, many teeth were also lost and not recovered. If you have any information about this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Sims Bayou John Doe on December 17, 1961, an unidentified male was found at Sims Bayou, a quarter mile east of the foot of Manchester Street. It is thought his cause of death was accidental drowning because Hurricane Carla had previously occurred in this area, which was a popular location for the homeless. He was described as a white male whose height was approximately 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 9 and who weighed between 135 to 145 pounds. He had gray-brown hair and was estimated to be between the ages of 50 to 60 years old. He was found wearing a sweatshirt, tan khaki pants, green collared sports shirt, and no shoes. Based on identifying marks, he might have been a heavy smoker and possibly had arthritis in his lower back. If you have any information that could help identify John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713 seven nine six six seven seven four or seven one three seven nine six nine two nine two Houston John Doe nineteen sixty nine on december twenty third nineteen sixty nine an unidentified male was discovered at eighteen oh five Fletcher Street in Houston, Texas. It was thought he was living on an abandoned property and that his cause of death was arteriosclerotic heart disease. He was described as a black male, approximately five foot five to five foot seven, and weighed up between 170 to 180 pounds. He was estimated to be 45 to 55 years of age with black hair and brown eyes. 
His hair length was 1.5 inches, and he also wore a mustache and goatee. Also on the left side of his abdomen was a 6-inch area of highly pigmented skin. If you have any information about this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or 713-796-9292. Harris County Jane Doe, 1962. Unfortunately for this case, there was very little information provided. An unidentified female was discovered on November 1st, 1962. She was described as being a black female between the ages of 40 to 60 years old. The location which she was found is unknown. If you have any information that could help identify this Jane Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Jones Creek Bridge, John Doe. On June 11, 1964, an unidentified male was found on FM 359 at Jones Creek Bridge in Fort Bend County. John Doe was described as a white male whose height was between 5 foot 10 to 6 foot 1 and who weighed between 170 to 180 pounds. He had dark brown or black hair with a light olive complexion. He may have had type O blood. He also suffered from a pleurisy. No clothing or other identifying objects were found nearby. If you have any information that could help identify this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Ship Channel John Doe On November 12, 1965, an unidentified male was discovered on the north side of the bank of Ship Channel in Turning Basin. He was found wearing tan pants, a sweatshirt, faded coat, and one black sock. He also had many teeth missing, was uncircumcised, and had calcified aortic valvular disease at the time of his death. It's thought his cause of death was accidental drowning. He was described as a black male between the ages of 45 to 65 years old and whose height was 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 6 who also weighed between 130 to 140 pounds. His hair was also black. If you have any information about this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Royal Wood Street Jane Doe, 1968. On September 14, 1968, an unidentified female was found in a drainage ditch 200 yards east of Royal Road Street in Houston, Texas. There was no clothing items or identifying items found nearby. Jane Doe was described as a white female approximately between the ages of 30 to 50 years old and whose height was 5 foot 3 to 5 foot 5. If you have any information that could help identify Jane Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Clinton John Doe on April 4, 1970, an unidentified male was discovered on the 7,000 block of Clinton in Houston, Texas. He was found wearing a heavy cotton sweatshirt, cotton dress shirt from the National Shirt Shops, sport jacket, military type field jacket, dark coat, three pairs of pants, work boots, dark socks, and a dark leather belt. He also had several items found with him, such as a can of tooth powder, razor blades, matches, twine, two rags, and an ad from the Houston Chronicle dated back to November 30, 1969. This John Doe was described as a white male 
with an estimated age of 50 to 70 years old. His height was 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 8. He had gray hair as well as a gray mustache and a beard with a hint of red. If you have if you have any information that could help identify this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or 713-796-9292. Also, this John Doe had most of his back teeth missing, so that's another important aspect that could help identify him. Buffalo Bayou John Doe, 1970. On May 25, 1970, an unidentified male was found deceased under East X Freeway at Semi Street in Buffalo Bayou, Houston. It is thought he had died of blunt force trauma to the head. He was discovered with gray pants and no other articles of clothing. He was described as a white male, estimated to be between 45 to 60 years old, with a height of 5 foot 2 to 5 foot 4. He was approximately 140 to 150 pounds. He also had brown eyes along with some identifying scars that were three inches in length on the lower right area of his abdomen. If you have any information that could help identify this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or 713-796-9292. Lynchburg John Doe. On July 1, 1971, an unidentified male was found near the San Jacinto River at the Lynchburg Crossing in Harris County. It is thought his cause of death was an accidental drowning. He was found wearing blue jeans, a leather belt, and white boxer shirts. A keychain with five keys and $2.45 were found as well. The John Doe was described as a white male with brown hair. His estimated height was 6 foot 1 to 6 foot 4, and he weighed somewhere between 140 to 160 pounds. He also had an overbite and a root canal with a gold crown. If you have any information that could help identify this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or 713-796-9292. Port Road John Doe. On September 1, 1971, a young white male was found floating in a drainage ditch along Port Road near NASA in Harris County. He was estimated to be between 13 to 16 years old, and his height was 5 foot 6 to 5 foot 8. He was described as a white male with light brown or blonde hair. He was wearing clothing such as a t-shirt with Jericho Surf Shop Houston Galveston on the back and a pair of blue jeans a pocket watch, 22 caliber long rifle hollow point cartridge, king, key ring with two keys, cigarette lighter, lip ointment, and some chain was found in the pockets of his jeans. If you have any information that could help identify this John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796. 9292. Lockwood Bridge John Doe. On September 11, 1971, a young unidentified male was found in the water of Buffalo Bayou near the 600 block north of Lockwood Bridge. Unfortunately, little is known about him or can be used as a description due to the condition of his remains. His age, height, weight, race, and eye color are all unknown. It is thought that Lockwood John, that Lockwood Bridge John Doe had dark brown or black hair. Clothing was recovered with him, such as black slacks and a black belt with a buckle. Other identifying characteristics was that the John Doe had medical problems, such as arteriosclerosis of the coronary arteries and arthritis in the lower back. If you have any information that could help identify Lockwood Bridge John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Jersey Village John Doe On November 15, 1982, an unidentified white male was hit by a car and died at the scene. 
He was a pedestrian walking in the area near US 290. He was found with no identification on him that could help ID him. He is described as a 30 to 40 year old white male, approximately 5 foot 4, and weighed around 116 pounds. He had brown hair that was 6 inches in length, but with a receding hairline. He also had blue eyes with surgical stitches beneath the right one. Other scars include a 3.5 inch scar on the upper left side of his chest, 7 inch scar on the right lower leg, 6.5 inch scar on the left lower leg, and a 9.5 semicircular scar on his left hip. The clothing recovered at the scene was a pair of brown cowboy boots, green army style jacket, green and black long sleeve checkered plaid shirt, white underwear sh shirt, blue jeans, mismatched blue and brown socks, and a pair of brown gloves. If you have any information that could help identify Jersey Village John Doe, please contact the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office at 713-796-6774 or at 713-796-9292. Hello everyone, this is Manor of Death. Just wanted to say thank you so much for being patient with me and for allowing me to have a little bit of time off before coming back and doing videos. I have another video planned out, um, so it should be coming out within the next week or two. Thank you so much for everything and let me know if there are any other cases that you would like me to cover. You might see them in the next couple videos. So once again, thank you so much for listening. Have a good one.